Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Some 20 years ago, President Clinton went to Arizona and he pointed across the border into Utah in my district and he said, I'm creating a national monument over there, nearly two million acres. He did not have the courage to come to Utah to defend this monument nor to create it because he knew that the local people did not support it. That monument has been incredibly unpopular since then. It has kicked ranchers off the range. It has decimated the local economies until we have reached this point. The, some of the local school districts have had to declare an emergency because their schools are dying. Why? Because there are no jobs that can support a family and people are having to leave. Local input is so important to the creation of these monuments. And there are examples where local input and where people collaborating have worked together and come to a great solution. Rob Bishop has done that. Just yesterday we held a bipartisan a, a press conference where we had local mayors, Republicans and Democrats on what we called the Mountain Accord. I'm asking President Obama, please come to my state, talk to the people in my district, see what they think about this monument. Come talk to us and see how this will impact them. And let me close with this. There is a reason I live in Utah. I love to ski, I love to rock climb, I love to hike, I love to sit on my porch and look at the beautiful landscape around me. I want to preserve this, all of us do. But there's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do this. And the Antiquities Act and the stroke of a pen of a president who won't even come to the state to defend his action is not the right way. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.